like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. A lot of us have cats, and a lot of us have dogs. These are clearly the most popular pets around, but for some celebrities, normal is out of fashion. They own those animals that might even eat you or freak you out. From snakes to lions to tigers, we are here with this list of the 10 most exotic celebrity pets. Number 10. Nicholas Cage's Snake Why would someone keep a snake as a pet? This man here didn't just have one, but had two of them. And do you know which snake? Cobras. What would you expect from someone who has starred in so many thriller movies? These two albino king cobras were kept in his Hollywood home and were named Moby and Sheba. These cost him around $270,000. He even had to keep an antidote to their venom near him at all times. What can you expect from two cobras in your home? According to him, their hypnotic movements when they sway helped him to play the part of Ghost Rider. But he had to give them away to a zoo when his neighbors found out about them and threatened to sue. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you'll get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number nine, Tippi Hedren loves lions. Keeping lions at home is just beyond sanity. Actress Tippi Hedren is well known for being the mother to famous actress Melanie Griffith and being a devout lover of animals, especially lions. Hedren loved the large cat so much that she welcomed and raised them in her home. Tippi's daughter Melanie also lived with large wild carnivores and recalled that in childhood, her best friend was a lion named Neil, a 400 pound mature lion who occasionally slept in the same bed as Griffith. The majestic beast was adopted by the family after they took the trip to Africa and decided to make a movie about lions, Rule. Sadly, the movie was a box office flop. Even some of the lions got a bit rough on set. Griffith required 50 stitches at one point after being bit by one of the cats. Number 8. Kristen Stewart and Her Wolves Remember Werewolf Jacob played by Taylor Lautner from the famous series Twilight? Well, Kristen has something that reminds her of his friend, a real wolf. Kristen Stewart received the dangerous canine from her mother, Jules, when she turned 24. Not so dangerous to her. Wolves are native to the wilderness, but surprisingly, she saw nothing wrong with keeping them as pets. The wolf was rescued and then kept by Jules. She brought him along to Kristen's Malibu beach house as a surprise on her birthday. Don't know what must have been the reaction of other people at that party. Growing up, Kristen's mom Jules owned up to four wolves on their farm. That might be the reason Kristen loves having wolf dog hybrids. Kristen visits them often at her ranch in Santa Monica, California, where they've got the run of the house. According to her Instagram page, wolves truly enjoy her company. Number 7. Kirstie Alley and her lemurs Kirstie Alley isn't just an ordinary lover of animals. Her love is shown in her lemur addiction. Kirstie loves her unique pets so much that she has over a dozen of them living on her property. In 2014, she told a magazine that she shared her home with 14 pet ring-tailed lemurs. Thankfully for the California girl, the West Coast climate is similar to that of Madagascar, the lemur's native habitat. It is said that she even tricked the airport security into thinking a baby lemur was a cat during one of her travels. The actress had a lemur enclosure built in her backyard so that she could keep her unique pets close to her at all times. Number 6. Vanilla Ice's Wallaroo Vanilla Ice is famous for Ice Ice Baby, but this man has a Wallaroo as a pet. Wallaroo called a Bucky Buckaroo. This pet came from Australia, which is known to be quite a hot region. Wallaroos have a close resemblance to their relatives, the kangaroos. This was adopted by the 90s rapper when it was only a few weeks old. He's kept it with him in his South Florida residence ever since. Ice even built this Wallaroo its mansion, where it can hop around and live life peacefully. There was a goat called Poncho in the house as well. It is said that this goat once bashed open the gate in the back garden, and Poncho and Bucky went missing for two weeks. Number 5. Salvador Dali's Anteater Have you ever seen the most famous painting made by Salvador Dali? If you have, then you would probably know this man just thinks a little out of the box. 
Back in 1969, he came out of the subway in Paris with one of his famous anteaters on a leash. Surprised? Anyone would be if they saw an anteater coming out of the subway. He even appeared on the Dick Cavett show accompanied by his anteater. Number 4. Paris Hilton, Kinkajou Paris Hilton loves to have everything flashy. She had to get herself a show-stopping animal to accompany her everywhere. This girl chose to own a kinkajou. Paris Hilton named her little pet Baby Love, and the heiress and her furball were thick as thieves. The kinkajou is a rainforest animal that lives high up in the treetops. These rarely interact with other animals, or especially humans. In 2006, one day Baby Love did what other wild animals would do. It bit Hilton while they were playing. The animal bite resulted in a trip to the hospital emergency room where she got the treatment, wound cleaning, and had a tetanus shot. Also, this resulted in a new home for baby love. It's true to say that you can take the animal out of the wild, but you can't take the wild out of an animal. Number 3. Leonardo DiCaprio's Sulcata Tortoise Well, we all know that Leonardo DiCaprio isn't wet, and he doesn't have any children but he does have a beloved and unusual pet. DiCaprio owns a 40-pound sulcata tortoise. The popular entertainer bought the reptile back in 2010 at North American Reptile Breeders Conference and Trade Show in Anaheim, California. He paid just the low amount of $400 to turn into the glad proprietor of this intriguing and interesting animal. It is a 45-pound, 7-year-old African prodded turtle. Being a natural life lobbyist, it really is great DiCaprio loves his turtle, since this person will probably be around for quite some time. We can purchase the little turtles. However, having an African spurred tortoise is one of its own. These creatures watch out for life until they're around 70 years of age, even as long as 200 years. These can get as weighty as 180 pounds. And now, let us move on to our subscriber pick of the day. This image was sent to us by one of our subscribers. Similarly, if you ever wish to know more about an image you come across, just send it on over to us. Who knows, we might even feature it on a future video. Number 2. The Subscriber Pick Our subscriber picture today shows Mike Tyson standing with a chained white tiger. This picture is definitely photoshopped, but Mike Tyson does have a tiger as a pet. Yes, Mike Tyson is known for living an extravagant lifestyle, but he surprised everyone when he bought three Royal Bengal Tigers. Yeah, you heard that right. Not one Bengal Tiger, but three. Two of these were females named Kenya and Storm, and the third one was a male named Boris. Guess what? One of these even appeared alongside him in the movie Hangover. He spent $70,000 apiece on Bengal Tiger Cubs. He spent $200,000 a year on the food bill alone. Tyson eventually had to rehome the majestic beasts, as he didn't own a license for them. So, these tigers were shifted to Serene in Colorado. Number 1. Michael Jackson and his Chimpanzee The King of Pop owned an array of animals throughout his lifetime. Perhaps the most famous was his chimpanzee, Bubbles. Bubbles was brought into the world in April of 1983. Jackson got him from a Texas malignancy research office at some point in the mid-1980s. Bubbles initially lived with Jackson at his home in Encino, California, before he was moved to the Neverland Ranch. It was accounted for on numerous events that Bubbles rested in a den in Jackson's room and was permitted to utilize Jackson's toilet. Bubbles invested sufficient energy next to Jackson that he had his position at the center of attention for a period. The two were genuinely inseparable and were regularly at get-togethers with MJ himself. Superstar craftsman Jeff Koons even made four versions of this sculpture of Jackson and Bubbles, which was dubious for how it depicted Jackson. Bubbles was moved away from the Neverland Ranch around 2003. Jackson disclosed to Martin Bashir in the 2003 narrative Living with Michael Jackson that Bubbles had gotten aggressive. He was moved to a creature safe haven over feelings of trepidation he may assault Jackson's infant child, Prince Michael II. Since 2005, Bubbles has lived at the Center for Great Apes, a safe haven in Florida. And that concludes our list of the 10 most exotic celebrity pets. Are you going to have any of these exotic pets? A lion, an octopus, or maybe a snake? Comment down below to let us know. But before you go, 
don't forget to like and subscribe and click the bell icon to stay up to date with our latest videos. We'll see you next time.